uh, net interest income growth front, on the uh, you know uh, growth of the book front. But let's go across to Abhishek to get to the fine print. Abhishek, what's really worked for Bajaj Finance this time? Well, uh, the inline expectation of a decline in net interest margin of around 30 basis point has really worked uh, because they have delivered on the same. So, NI growth is much better than our anticipation going at 28% uh, YOY and about 4.5% sequentially. That has held the operating profit growth as well, which has grown by 29% uh, YOY and about 5.5% sequentially. Uh, provisions have remained elevated a bit, uh, growing by 2.2% quarter on quarter and about 22 2.5% uh, YOY. However, the lower OPEX has actually helped them uh, beat our estimate on PAT. So PAT has grown by 30.5% YOY and about 6.2% uh, sequentially. So in terms of PNL, both the NI and PAT is a beat to our poll. Asset quality has improved. Gross NP ratio is down to 0.94% when compared to 1.14% in the previous quarter. Even the net NP ratio is down by 7 basis points. And in the conference, the manager has highlighted that for FY24, they will see a net interest margin decline of uh, 40 to 50 basis point. However, uh, the growth guidance has been increased for the AUM growth. So now they believe that the AUM growth in FY24 will be about 28 to 29%. The earlier guidance was about 26 to 27%. So you are seeing a 2% increase in terms of their AUM growth guidance. Back to you. All right, Abhishek, thanks a lot for running us through all of those numbers. But also tell us what are analysts making of this? What is the brokerage view? Because, you know, I was looking at the target prices all the way from 5,000 to 9,000, right, on this one? Well, yes, uh, there are brokerages who are bullish on it and there are brokerages who are bearish on the stock. So to begin with, the commentary from bullish analysts is that they think BAF or Bajaj uh, Finance can actually uh, deliver 25% pl uh, plus growth in terms of the AUM uh, versus banking system growth, uh, which is between low to mid-teens. And beyond uh, that also, they can see increase in their penetration as well for Bajaj Finance. They say that the company has surprised positively on net interest margin the net interest margin is in line with what uh, many analysts were working like Motilal was expecting a 30 basis point decline and it is about 30, uh, 30 to 32 basis point decline as per calculation. On the uh, bearish side, uh, analysts say that the peak performance has been achieved. You can brave for uh, some moderation from current levels. Repeat customer purchase ratio, that is the retention ratio that they are having, is per, uh, actually uh, on the lower side. So as per my calculation, it's at about 6 0.7% versus earlier double digits that you had a few years ago. Again, bullish analysts say that, you know, uh, the rates likely to have peaked out, which is a tailwind for the company in terms of cost of funds. And ROE profile, the key valuation metric is at record high and they see levers for ROE improvement going ahead. So we have Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan who remain overweight on the stock. Target price from 8,000 uh, for Morgan Stanley and 9,000 for uh, JP Morgan. Macquarie has an underperformance rating target price of 5200 and goldman sachs has a sell rating target price of 6040 per share back to you okay all right got that thanks very much for all of the details there abhishek uh, in fact bajaj finance and finserv both these stocks are the two top nifty gainers today bajaj finserv just a reminder is expected to report its fourth quarter numbers today itself so we'll hear from the other group company too well, uh, we're sticking with financials because that's where the headlines and the news uh, newsmakers really are. Life insurance company 